The reason why we remember specific moments or movies is because they have been stored in our memory under the influence of emotions. When we win or fail, cry or celebrate, we learn fast, deep and plenty. But when we are afraid, our brain limits our ability to think, for a good reason. Fear is an emotion induced when we face a threat to our physical or psychological well-being. It causes a change in brain and organ functions and ultimately in our behavior. First, we get stressed or aggressive, then we are left with three final ways out. Freeze, fight or flight. The reason for this is evolution. Over the last million years, we learned that when we meet a dangerous animal, we'd better freeze, fight or run and hide. To save our life, this is now programmed in our genes. But something else happens. When it gets dangerous, a specific region of our brain, the amygdala, takes over. Its job is to protect us and save our life. To act fast, it refrains us from thinking and leaves us with only those three options. This makes creative and critical thought processes impossible. High pressure triggers a similar response. In one experiment, German neuroscientist Professor Dr. Hüter measured the brain function of young men playing a car racing game. The race was on and the men eager to win. When the researchers later looked at the scans of the brain, they saw shockingly little activity. In fact, the young men hardly used their brains at all and they certainly didn't remember much. Later, the researchers repeated the experiment. This time, they did not play the game themselves, but just watched from inside the car sitting next to the driver. Instead of focusing to win, they focused on a lot of other things – driving behavior, the racetrack, other cars. This time, the brain showed lots of activity. Learning happened and memories were created. The scientists concluded that when we panic at a maths exam or when a salesman fears he might miss his monthly target, it can create a tunnel vision. Then our vision field becomes smaller, our learning limited, and we cannot find the road to success. Next time, when you are stressed to perform or when you panic during an exam, try this quick fix. First, slowly breathe in through your nose. To do it slow enough, count from one to five. Then breathe out through your mouth, again counting to five. Repeat that for one to five minutes and your body will relax and your brain can switch from protection mode back to a learning mode. What is your personal experience? Do you think we should apply pressure and push for a goal in order to maximize our learning? Or do you think we should free our minds from pressure and goals? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Even if we try to keep it short, each video is quite some work. First, we research and write a script, then we brainstorm ideas, and after that, we draw the storybook. Then it's recorded, narrated, and finally edited.